Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Well, we've got an issue with our washer dryer here in the new DRV. Um, we have a Ariston washer dryer and now the washer's acting up, so let's see if we can fix it. Let me show you real quick the washer dryer. So we have the, the I believe they're made by Splendid. There's a Splendid sticker, but it says Ariston. Probably the same thing. I don't know. Um, washer dryer. You can see the washer's got an F05 error. Uh, in my research in, tells me that that means that there's a high pressure on the pump side, maybe a clogged filter screen or something in the in the drain hose. It won't spin and it won't drain you can hear the pump come on it hums and then it shuts off and it does it a couple times and throws the air so we're gonna have to move all this stuff out of the way we're gonna have to take this door frame out we're gonna have to remove the toilet and then we're gonna slide it out see if we can clean it see if we can get it fixed First things first, I'm going to go ahead and remove this door and get a different bit. So I'm just going to take the screws out of the hinges and take the door off. Put the screws up there. And get it out of my way. And here's a little tip. I've got my foot over the top of the heater vent so that the screw doesn't drop down in the vent. Because <laughs> that would be, uh, that'd be no fun. All right, let me come past you. I'm gonna go to the bedroom. Let me go that way. There we go. Okay. Okay, now we'll switch to square drive and pull out this frame. risk damaging this frame. I'm just going to take it out. It'll be easy enough to put back in. And these are the typical Roberson square head screws that all the RVs have. There we go. Just gotta find all the screws. Nail that back on. Luckily, I have a nail gun. And very carefully. I don't know if I put it right there. Okay. I got a little piece of trim here on the floor. I'm gonna have to get to. <clears throat> Let me just sit down. <laughs> so I took, I got the frame out. Now maybe you don't have to take the frame out. I don't know, but it seemed logical to me because this opening is pretty small, and I didn't want to try and have to pick this heavy thing up with water in it. You can see the water levels up to here. <laughs> so. Um, it was easy enough to pull the frame out. I can't get the frame out of the bathroom because it won't fit through the door. So I just leaned it up over here. We're gonna pull, oh, I gotta pull this toilet out. But first I'm gonna see if I can pull this washer out far enough to maybe get to the back of it without removing the toilet. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm gonna pop this vent off. There we go. So take the vent cover. It just snaps on. 
So I'll pop it off and let, that's a little bit more flush. I might have to take that ring out. But um, let's see here. 5 sixteenths socket on the driver. I'll pull these screws off the floor. These are the little hold downs that keep the washer from walking around when you're traveling or when it's spinning. I did this on purpose so you could do a video. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Let's take that. Okay, bring Whoa, I need a towel. Right there. Okay. So there's a little filter right here. Let me see the camera. So right here, this little black cap is a filter. I have a feeling when I take that off, all the water is going to drain out. So I'll get a towel under it, a couple towels, and we'll see what happens. Okay. I'm just trying to prevent the water from going under the washer. We'll let the towels catch it. Just rotate the towel. <laughs> The only thing I can think to do. I don't know if all that water is going to drain out or not. The level of the water is going down. Is it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it'd be cool if I had a little bucket, but there's no way to get a bucket How about under it. A sheet pan. A sheet pan? Yeah. Do you have one? A thin sheet pan? Yeah. That would work. Something like that. I don't know if it's thin enough. Let's see if it's going under. That's convenient. Hey, it worked. <laughs> yeah, it's working. There, that'll make it a little easier. Well, the tub's empty, and once I got some of the water out, the door unlocked, and I unplugged it. So, um, we're still getting some water out here, though. So, as soon as I get all the water out, I'm going to pull this filter out and clean it. Let's see what's going on down here. So, this is the drain. We've been draining. Um, let's take this out. I expected there to be a filter here, but there's not. It's just a plug. Set that aside, and if we look in here, I'm going to tilt the camera. See that white... Whoops, get the light. See that white thing? It looks like some sort of dryer sheet or somebody's handkerchief or a color saver or something. So I'm going to get, um, actually, let me see if I can pull it out with my fingers. Looky there. That's the impeller on the pump. That's what that green thing is. So when the pump spins, that impeller spins and pushes the water, I think. So, oh, I guess we're all right. So it looks like a color, is it, what'd you call this? A color? It's like a color saver sheet. You yeah. can combine whites and colors. So somehow it got past the drum and got stuck in there. So we're going to throw that in the trash. <laughs> and I'm going to put this cap back on. The pump impeller spinning fine. I'm going to put this cap on and it just screws in just like this. Okay. So I got some homework for you guys. If you own a washer dryer like this in your RV, take the time before you do your next load and take that out and make sure there's nothing in there because it's a real mess. As you can see, I probably took three gallons of water out of this thing. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to slide it back in and bolt it back to the floor and uh, we're going to run a cycle and see if it works correctly before I put all this frame in. But the cool thing is I didn't have to take toilet out. I don't know where the filter is or if there even is one on this unit, but uh, we're going to try this and see what happens.
Let's just do... The shortest cycle is 10, I think. Okay, let's do 10. I think, yeah. There's water coming in. Get some water and then we'll just force it to go to drain and spin. Okay, there's the water. So let's do this. And let's go to A, right? No, B. And see if it'll do it on its own. There you go. Fixed it. Woo high five. Ah. <laughs> All right. Note to self, as much as I love those color sheet things to protect laundry, I Ooh. probably won't be using them anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and put this frame back in and then we'll close out the video. Well, you can see that's a pretty easy repair, but uh, when it first happened, it freaked us out a little bit because I gotta be honest, I don't work on RV wash machines very much. But <laughs> anyway, uh, the homework again, if you own one of these, before you run your next load and fill your machine full of water, pop that little black cap off. Make sure that pump is clean. That'll save you a lot of heartache. <laughs> and no more color catchers. Yeah, well. Yeah, you can still use color catchers, just be aware that that could happen. And if you get an F05 error, that's most likely the problem. There is a pressure switch somewhere that could be bad, but in our case, that was the simple fix. So um, that's all we have today. <laughs> um, Tina's behind the camera smiling, saying bye, but uh, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And uh, until next time, safe travels. Safe travels. Bye. bye. <laughs>